Yeah, that's better. I guess. Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> February 23rd, 2.15 p.m. Right in Cola offices. Um, Mr. Wright? So, what's going on with the case, anyway? I'm a little confused. Huh? Well... <sighs> Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, what is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot. And the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're gonna figure- that's what we're gonna find out. Or try to, at least. Alright, let's do it! Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be much. I'm not sure she's gonna be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mister Wright. Huh? Look, we're, we're in this together, right? All proof of these thick rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go. Science awaits. February twenty third, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't a body. That there wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, who was our victim who was killed in their evidence room? No biggie. Besides, our sister wouldn't do such a thing. I know it. That only oil drum. Was it okay? Or <laughs> okay. was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming, brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at the crime scene? Never. Even though she says she don't, she don't. Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just they're both professionals at what they do, and I trust her. Big words for big words for a high school student. Well, whether or not there was blood on the floor, uh, the water and the oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mister Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? <clears throat> this situation calls for one thing, and that is luminol testing fluid. L -l luminol Blood is sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Uh, but wouldn't the police have already done... I have, wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood stains, not drinking it. Here, look, I'll lend you my glasses. Huh? You 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 had an extra pair of those things? I asked for a blood reaction to spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? Press enter to spray it on. Okay, let's find some tests. Oh. Wait. 
Wait, can I like move the cursor without clicking? No. <clears throat> I can see your eyes shining from those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Uh, yeah, it's so. <clears throat> Emma, you're shaking. It's just this. This is just my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, we definitely know this is a blood stain. But that doesn't doesn't something strike you as odd, scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this scientifically? <clears throat> the amount. The perpetrator and detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? What the heck? Why am I little... Chucking brains, dude. What is this? Why, though? Wow. It's... What the heck? I don't even know how it's dropping that many that fast. Huh. Wow. Almost every single frame is dropping. <laughs> Let's try moving my phone a minute. Let's not do this. Some. What the fuck? Who else is on my? Who else is on my internet? Someone else on my internet. Maybe someone else is on the internet. I don't know. Let's see. Switch right here. Let's try and disconnect it from the internet. Alright. How are we doing on frames? We're dunking frames right now, that's for sure. Wow. Uh, almost every single frame is getting dropped right now. Wow, that's really stupid. We're already at 7,400 frames dropped. Oh, now it stopped. For some reason. Uh, well. Okay. I guess I can, can, can keep going. This. <clears throat> I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have been a lot more blood than this. <laughs> uh, hey, Mr. Wright? I'm gonna mark up the blood, the floor plan, the blood on the floor plan. See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. I saved up all my allowance to buy that. Luminol testing fluid received from one very proud looking Emma Sky. Okay. Why. Why is my internet dying? <clears throat> we can't even be sure that all, the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. 
Then let's drag out that hidden evidence into the light of day. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? I guess I should give this... I should give this a spray on anything suspicious. I wonder how much. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star, you only trust your eyes. Hmm? Not too bad. You're you're two or you two. This day old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of that kind of lead. It doesn't really get my mouth watering. That made no sense. Okay, let's talk. Alright, um, today's trial. You certainly put me on a spite tight spot today. My apologies, my apologies, Mrs. Star, but... No, no, it's okay, it was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from, from that security room right there. But I was afraid that, that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that, I'm sorry. Really? You lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the police I place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood and then test him up. And that testimony testimony still stands. Uh, I swear it on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So, you were a detective, weren't you, Mrs. Sc Mrs. Star? Yes, a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hardened the criminal when they faced me. They coughed it up. Coughed it up. They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel, too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of their mouths, out of the mouths of suspects I suspected. And before long they called me the cough up queen. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go, or <clears throat> fired. I thought that I found my dream job when I became an investigator, and if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. <clears throat> it's all because of that case, the SL9 incident. <clears throat> SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... about this the SL9 incident it's written on that knife and on that note Goodman Goodman was the head detective on that case you know really the knife was evidence from that case the murder weapon it was due for transfer all the day the very day that Goodman was killed and I suspected SL9 isn't over not yet do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Man. Well, we're dropping every single frame again. This is so stupid, dude. <sighs> Why? Wow, dude. My internet is 500 kilobits a second. Oh, no. Oh look, at zero kilobits a second. Oh fun. Yes, yes, exactly. Just what I want to see right now while I'm sleeping. This is so stupid. What am I gonna do my where can I put my phone? I won't. Oh look, zero kilobits a second. Yay! No one can hear me right now. <laughs> what about that? Oh what that? Is that better? 
Wow. Yeah, we're still dropping all of it. Oh, 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 it stopped. It stopped. Kind of. Almost. We're plateaued at 8,663 dropped frames. Gee, we're safe for it. Alright, whatever. Let's examine stuff. Look, a door! That must mean something! I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open! A mysterious lock! I failed to see what's so mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Uh, let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Can I, like, use the... Let's use the spray on the environment, can I? Can I do that? What's oh, shippers? Here we go. Oh sh Stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! No, my ears! Wait, no, maybe it's just a maybe it's just due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's just broken. All right, I guess I had to be holding the spray to examine stuff. Uh. Yeah. This blood must be from when Lena... No, my sister isn't the murderer. But she did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime. And her right hand is bandaged. Hey, just whose sign are you on? And this has nothing to do with taking sides. So this means that Lena's hand has blood on it. Oof, this just keeps getting worse. Hmm. Oop. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, Alright, let's... You know what? Let's just move. Oh, hey, Ron. What's up? Alright, let's go to the tension center. February 23rd, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Looks like Miss Skye is in questioning. I hope the detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How's she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Grant say they'd arrested a suspect in the, in the police department murder? Let's go back there. Oh, what are you playing? This game looks weird. Um, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. Criminal Affairs Department. Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder at the de detective down at the de police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ugh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's check out the, the police department crime scene. Yeah, you sound dead set on investigating. Uh, don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. Ah, uh, but it, it does look like... It does look like... Anyone's going to help us much? It doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Okay. Um, what's this guy? Must be the chief of police. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Detective killed in the evidence room? Tell no one 
outside the police department. No, I told that old lady at the restaurant everything. Someone's getting a demotion. Alright. <clears throat> I don't think there's any clues here. Alright, let's move to the entrance, I guess. February 23rd, police department entrance. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The, the detectives are running around so fast, they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed here, after all. So, the evidence room. Uh, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is. Well, it's just like a kid at an amusement park. Ooh, a real crime scene. Let's go, get it. Let's go take a look. <laughs> the blue badger is still wreathing around today. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries? I just can't help but feel like he's gonna do something naughty. Hey, look at that. That patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be, de be a detective. You idiot, what were you thinking? Where's your head? Sorry, sir. It's, it's right here, sir. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was showing the detective where his head was. Oh, they must make a good pair. Alright, uh, let's move inside. Oops. Guard station, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> February 23rd, evidence room entrance guard station. What's with the, de the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is a guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime. <clears throat> <laughs> I think you could be a voice actor, dude. No kidding. <laughs> Thanks. So beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime? Sure seems that way. Oh. What's wrong? It's the, it's the cacti. They're so pricky. So imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is... If this is the guard station, where is the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. Look at this hat. Yipes! Those sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I would think just one would suffice. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. How so? Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not sure I see the resemblance. It's more of an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Alright, um... I guess I'll just keep looking around. Look on the floor, a lasso! Hmm! Looks like it's set up, it's set up to a trap or something. A trap here? Wait, I know! Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here! But the lasso missed. Are you sure of an active imagination? <clears throat> Looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. Ooh, I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of here. Nope, that's the same one. Alright, what do we got? <clears throat> There's a security guard uniform hanging there. Looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... Uh, what was that thing called again? A punchy, pouchy, pinchy... Oh, I know! Poochy. Hmm? Wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, uh, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. The evidence room is beyond that door. Hey, let's just walk in! Wait. 
Ah, oh, it won't open. You wait, you thought it would open? Oh, I think we need some permission to get in there first. Oh, I know. <laughs> Can I use the card? The evidence or the badge? Yeah. How can I not? Oh man. Oh well. Alright. What can I click on? Hey, this swinging door makes this place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You just can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch. Alright, um... Is there nowhere to go right now? Hold on. The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. Uh, somehow the thought fails to excite me. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea where to go right now. I wonder if I can use the, uh, the sp ooh, spray on this. Anything? Oops. Anything in here, maybe? No? Hmm. I guess not. Alright. <sighs> Where do I go right now? I actually don't know where to go. You know what? Alright. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> Whoa, we got a reaction! Hmm. There's clearly blood around the spines here. This room's pretty messy. Someone must have tripped over or something. And planted their head right into these spines? Uh, I think it... I think that might be more painful than being murdered. Is that it? Nothing else in here, I guess? Alright. Hmm. Yeah, what am I missing? Wait a minute. Uh... 
Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I need to go back to the parking lot. Wait, what? Oh no, I was just talking out loud. I wasn't like specifically asking you to like figure it out. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. Um, present. The stub. Um, what do you think about this? Oh, the SL6, SL9 incident? It's written on that knife. And on that note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon? It was due for transfer the other day when Goodman was killed. As I suspected. The SL9 isn't over yet. Not yet. Uh, do you think you could tell us more about that SL9 incident? Alright. Can I give her the Goodman's ID? Since there we go. <clears throat> I had one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the cough-up queen, right? Well, we found this ID here in this parking lot. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Yeah, it's kind of a habit of mine, too. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. But... It's the same ID as the man who was killed at the police department. That... that's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. Alright, what else can we show her? This one, I guess? Could you take a look at this? You! Yes? You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Uh, no, uh, but thanks. She didn't even look at it. Um... Mmm... Um, you must have to brew the teas... teas tea leaves a long time to get a flavor like this. We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that is a secret to their aroma. Exquisite. Uh, the only one... The only thing I'm smelling here is a waste of time. Alright, the shoe. I guess I can show the shoe. Could you take a look at this? Oh, that's the same one. Alright. I think I've said everything I can. Alright, let's go back to the entrance. Nope. That's still not it. Hmm. Am I miss- I must be missing something. Cause she's the only person I can talk to right now. I must have missed an evidence. Missed an evidence presentation. The ticket stub, I guess. Alright, same thing. Same thing, same thing. Maybe show the phone. It was when I grabbed the chief prosecutor on the shoulder. She dropped that phone on the pavement. That's when you heard her talking about the muffler, right? Little did I know, it was a trap. The red car's muffler, the prosecutor's red muffler. Wait. Was what Miss Sky really trying to- Was that really what Mrs. Sky was trying to say, I wonder? Alright, take this one. Alright, yeah, same. When there's nothing story-wise she can say, she always talks about the tea. Alright, uh, this one. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime? I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, if it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Mrs. Starr. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl, I've had my testimony dis disregarded before, and I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time. Alright. Talking about the tea again? Okay. I think I've showed her everything I can. 
Let's, uh... Ooh, I know. Nope, still not it, okay. I bet I'm missing a bloodstain somewhere. That's probably what I'm missing. Alright, search more. So besides this one, I mean... You know, I'm really surprised there's no blood on Edgeworth's car. This person was literally stabbed in the trunk of his car. I feel like there should be a blood stain here somewhere. <laughs> there's just like this little cough up blood on the ground. Alright, nothing. Okay, finally unlocked it. Awesome. <clears throat> that incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Two years ago. It was the biggest case I'd ever handled. The police and the prosecutor er, and the police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So did they solve it? On the contrary. It was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was they never did find any decisive evidence, not a shred. What? Wait, but the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort, made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved in the case was dealt with. They were demoted to patrolmen. Others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those. Myself and the other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean, Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As professional detectives were investigated that that case or as professional detectives were investigating that case from every angle uh, Jake was particularly de determined and then it was over he was demoted however he hasn't forgotten and neither have I you haven't forgotten you haven't forgotten SL9 there was another side to that case a hidden side uh, that's what we know now and no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait, that the, those lunches you sell? There was only one reason I came to sell lunches in this accursed office. I came here to meet old friends, boyfriends that can help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriend. Wait, how many does she have anyway? Uh, just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. Wait, there has to be a connection. So, rookie. Wait, what? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes? Then you should take this. Wait, a Salisbury st steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Steak lunch received from Miss Star. Uh, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he, uh, your, uh, or... <clears throat> are you his? Are you g g g g going out? Why do you want to know? I was just I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along with my sister. It made me feel jealous. And well, he was nice to me back then too. But, well, this was be this would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. 
And now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. Oh, I, I, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. All right, let's save real quick. All right, now we can go to the police department. Yeah, all right. Police department entrance. This place is really charged with frantic energy as always. Please! Wait, what was that? One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detec Detective Gunsu. No time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. Well, what I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think he'd... I think I just heard the sound of heart of his heart breaking. Now is no time for despair. We've caught a criminal. Now, now we just need evidence. The criminal? You mean? You're right about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? On the same on the same same day that a tech the little little can I talk? Please. <coughs> On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another, another detective was killed at the police department. And the perpetrator, do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect, just arrested him, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages, everything topsy-turvy. But Detective- Wait, but Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know, all I know is I need a steak lunch pronto. Standing around here talking isn't gonna fill my belly. Alright. Wait, don't leave! If you wanna know if you wanna know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figured he'd he'd be down there having a good cry. Later. He ran off to the evidence room. Well this investigation is off to a running start. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, where am I going? Here we go, detention center. February 23rd, detention center visitor's room. Still, I do feel better about a li about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess they did. Best not to go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. What was that? Sir, that's what I've been saying. Me, a perpetrator? I I'd say I was the perpetrator against... Sir, what... Wait, wait. What? That's what I'd say. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, wait. Wait, I just want to know who you are. Excuse me, but it's... But it's Mr. H. Worth uh, anywhere on the premises. Ah. Uh. I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, from the so you're a guard here at the detention center? No, no, sir, I'm not, sir. I was a little lost patrol man. I'm on a little lost li I'm a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to <laughs> deliver a report? Well, sir, I, uh, well, how shall I say this? Wait, wait. He, he isn't. Is, is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't. You didn't, did you? Uh... <laughs> Perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? Now, this is an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> sir, I'm a patrolman with General Office Affairs, sir. Sir. Ow. Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. Uh, I heard you had some business that day, sir, so I went to the evidence room, sir, and, um... The guard room station in front of the room was empty, sir. So, no so normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir, because the evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now the officer, sir, was, no was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall? 
Then sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. Ah! What the heck is this guy doing? So what happened then? After that, sir, uh, uh, everything went wild. I saw red, I blacked out. When I came to, I was here in the detention center. Wait, how long were you out? Days? Uh, might I ask what happened to your hand? Oh, wait. Might I ask what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up. A bandage on his hand? Just, just like Mrs. Sky? Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. Wait, first things first. Tell us how you hurt your hand. <clears throat> you killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir. Look at the look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me as a perpetrator or victim, sir, then label me victim. Uh, I would, but you, you happen to be in detention and alive at that. Oh, uh, well, sir, that's true. I suppose you could say that. Uh, did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to leave him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily into the total stranger side. So, you don't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light and other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. So, so if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir, none. No, no, no. Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Now what happened to your hand? Did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I, um... Don't you think he should just confess? But, sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Can you tell us what happened? When the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you... The next thing you knew, you were... Huh. When I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir, all alone. Alone because, because Detective Goodman had disappeared. Wait, what? When I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock, all the sorrow. Can you imagine how I feel? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm, that's some story. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll show him his knife. Officer Beacons, this is for you. Ah, I'm scared of knives, sir. That's it, sir. That's the, that's the one. I was it was, I was an apple, sir, in my dream, sir, and I was being peeled. On second thought, you don't have to look at that knife. Oh, he's overreacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. All right, I'll show him the shoe. Officer Meekins, could you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir. Really, I have no idea what that is. Maybe you could ask Mr. Ainsworth, sir. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Alright, um... This one. Hey! Why do you have that? That's from the day it was taken to the prosecutor's office. The day that Detective Goodman's body was found in the trunk. So this means... This means I'm a free man, innocent! If this was a dream, sir... Then I'd hope never to wake up. If this is a dream, you'd better wake up right now. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's... Let's get out of here. The music? Sure. <clears throat> All 
Alright, where is Gumshoe? <laughs> yeah, no problem. I need to talk to Gumshoe. I don't know where he went. steak lunch. Oh, that's the same one. Mm. Alright, let's do Mr. Goodman's ID. Um, do you think I could take a look at this? Hey! That's it, sir, that's it, that's it. Wait, what, what's, what's, what's what? My head was a blank until this very moment. But sir, now I remembered, I remembered. Wait, you mean you remembered what happened? Correct. That card, the card was the cause of it all. This, this ID card? Exactly, sir, that's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir, nothing. Better pry into this one a little deeper. Can you tell me what it is you do or remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little, little lost patrolman, a lost little lamb, if you will. I don't, I didn't know Detective Goodman was, who was in the detect evidence room. <laughs> and that's why, you, uh, and that's why you thought he looked suspicious. So I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. What? So I, so I assure you I was flustered as you, right, as you right now. So I whooped him and leapt at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him? Do unto others before they do unto you, my own father's words, sir. Wait, what happened then? <laughs> well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I, when I awoke, I was here. Right. So, Officer Meekins, why is it they arrested you? What did you... What do you mean, Emma? Well, let's look, well, let's look at what you know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman, and the victim who he met at the scene of the crime didn't show him eyes. Didn't, didn't show him his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if he actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's what I've been trying, that's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? Wait, but you still ended up here. They told me I just had, it had to be him, sir, on that day at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room, that's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly. No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Vid videotape? From the security camera. The crime, the crime, the crime, I swore to stamp out is there to me on the tape. And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge, I don't deserve it. Uh, no thanks, I have one of my own. <sighs> I guess we go better check out the crime scene. Alright. Alright, February 23rd, police, police station, criminal affairs department. Hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the chief of police. 
chief of detectives a desk. It's police chief Gant. And you're sure this is all, hmm? You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir. Sir, mo it's most likely perfect. We checked everywhere. Under a seat cushion, behind this c computer monitor, inside a special coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, deal. Yes, sir. We'll scout the place again, sir. <laughs> the chief of detectives sure looks a little flustered. <laughs> right on, my boy. How you been? Swim much? Oh, <laughs> Chief Gant. Oh, Chief Gant, reporting for duty, sir. Wait, why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Edgeworth. Um, is Edgeworth gonna be okay? Oh, Worthy, oh, you know, they're doing quite a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they had no to. They had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right? Right, oh. Van Karma. A legend he was. Oh. See you, Ron. A legend he was undefeated in his career for 40 years. But in court you fi but in court you fixed it, so he was caught for forgoing evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in quite a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why why they do they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now depending on that inquiry, the, that inquiry committee decides it could be bad for Worthy. What? It's downright odd, I tell you, the detective getting killed on their turf too, I mean. <laughs> Welcome back, Ron. There being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, right? Oh, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this, and in this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much, anyways. You know, one thing I hate most of most of all in hiding stuff: secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping up the chief of detectives trap shut. Oh, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that? Oops. Wait. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. <laughs> Um, all right, examine just the guy. Okay, um, what exactly did the chief of police want, want you to do? Well, see over there, that's Goodman's desk. You think I should save? I guess so. We'll see over there. That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing, be nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here. Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. I d he didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on this is February 21st. Better make a note of that, just in case. 
Goodman's lost item report added to the court record. I, th I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Actually, I was wondering if if I could do if if I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> keep getting tongue tied. Actually, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. Hmm. Well, I never thought the day would come when Raito would ask me for help. I was wondering if you could, if we could investigate the evidence room. Now, Raito. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate it after all. Right, oh, please. Do I look like I'm a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50. No problem. So go ahead and investigate that room to your heart's content. And knock yourself out. Just goes to show you, you never know until you ask. And for you, here, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir. It's an honor. I thought only Arabic people get it when they speak English. What do you mean? Hey, it looks pretty cool on my lepo, huh? Doesn't it? I think it's a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because... Well, so we get to go into the evidence room now. Oh, no, I think this place is a bad influence on this girl. I, I don't understand what you mean, Ron. Let's move to the department. And now let's go to the guard station. Oops, that wasn't that. Here we go. The evidence room was beyond that door. And we have the ID card from police from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. He won't. We won't open. The card reader is turned off. See? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, howdy, partner. Well, well. What's made my Bambina's sky so gray? <sighs> Officer Marshall. Uh, why does it have to be him? What's that? Why does it have to be him to look for? As you say, as you may have surmised, this is my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw, that card you got there on your chest. I thought only Arabic people find some words hard, kinda hard to pronounce it when they speak English. Oh, I don't know, I think English is... <laughs> it's kind of a weird language. I bet a lot of people have a hard time speaking it. <sighs> With only, um... I know some Arabic people that English is their second language, and they never really... I don't think they've ever, like, said anything to me about it being harder than normal, but... I'm one of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think English is a, hard, is a complicated language in general. I think a lot of people have a hard time with it. Wait, you know that I'm Arabic, right? I guessed that when you first mentioned it. 
My brother actually is... My, my brother actually, um... Is learning Arabic right now. Because his girlfriend is Arabic. And so... Uh... <laughs> We've been watching like a lot of Arabic movies and stuff like that. I don't know, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeehaw! Well, what you're, what are you this, what are you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Hey, looks like the card reader's on again. While we were here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. You could help him if he wants? Okay. <laughs> I'll tell him I know a guy, I guess. Um, I don't think... I don't really know if he's, like, still studying it right now, because I know college started back up again for him, but I'll, I'll let him know. <clears throat> um well while we were here I was wondering if you could if I could ask you some questions you feel bad for him it's a hard language <laughs> well I think he's enjoying it he's learning it because his girlfriend is um, part Arabic. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind. I got no mind to tangle with the homebrews. You're... you're busy, then. Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with the hombres. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, uh... I guess he doesn't want to talk to us, so I guess we can move into the Evans room now. February 23rd, Evans Room, Sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the Evans Room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. No, no, nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Eh! Oh! Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. Is it true what I heard? Right, oh, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if I, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50, I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content, to your heart's desire, knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant, will loan anyone 50 bucks, even me? Oh, that's what you were talking about. Actually, I wasn't put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day? But guess what? You got permission from the Chief, so now you're a boss for a day. Gee, thanks. First of all, you have to have this. Evidence room floor plans added to court record. Yeah, let's talk. So, Detective Gumshoe, your boss for the day? That's right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. 
I'm gonna take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker here too, Mr. Or Miss Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> of course, I am a detective after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee right now. They're trying to figure out who's responsible, responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you would call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, the case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end, Mr. Edgeworth. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about that case. This place is high tech. It's more high tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on third card since using the. since entering the force already. That sounds a lot like... Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. So, so the only locker you can open is your own. Funny. They look like normal lockers. These are the latest model with a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it... You get the idea. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoke every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know that don't even know about the fingerprint locks. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look around. There's something sticking on here. It looks like a shirt. I guess it could be evidence for a case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to see, be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks it every day. How many times have I had him bring it breathing down my neck for some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right don't do it right in front of him, pal. Hey pal, our security is high tech around here. Alright, um, what, what's this? Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner. That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, it's one of those human profiles for shoot, for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. That's the door we just came in through. Looks like you don't need the ID card to get out. I wonder what would happen if Mr. Marsh if Officer Marshall cut the power while we were inside. Let's hope he uh, let's hope he remembers we're in here. Some sort of bulky equipment, I got gathering dust in here. What a sorry looking fishing pole. Hey, that's my personal pole. I never get did get around to using it. Wait, I've i I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal. That's that metal detector, the one that led the solving of the case out on Gord Lake, remember? Oh, right! Wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And... I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that? That's a bug sweeper. I'm sure it will come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. That cheap-looking box? You can't judge a person or machine by their cover, you gotta look at their heart. Alright, let's move. Ooh, a bloody print. What's this, blood? 
It's a little warm, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are any other blood stains left in the room? We should you Oh, we should use your testing fluid to check it out. Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? For Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. See the thicker and the pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence. I wonder what shaped these pieces in before whatever it was broke. Why not put it back together? <laughs> good luck, pal. There's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tub of super glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Ooh, puzzle time. Wait, I can't move it? Move it. That's weird. I can only select one of them. Oh, okay. I kind of get it now. Hmm. Oh, I see what it's doing. That's weird. There we go. Oh, yeah, okay, these are a lot bigger pieces than I thought they were. Huh, I need a flat edge. Oops. Oh, that was an accident. Oops.
Oh, wow. Okay, so pressing the right button cancels it, I see. Alright, whatever. The more you know. That's weird. There we go. What is that this one? There we go. Alright. I think it's that one. Oh, I see. There we go. All right. Huh? Oh, well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. There were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still. It doesn't look like some... It doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Unstable jar added to court record. Alright. Look, this one's open and the red light indicator above it is lit. The locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it's hard to get in and... It's hard to get it open again if we close it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents somewhere. Why is there a saw and paint here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps, oh, perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger? Well, you might say this is my studio. Here in this evidence room? Okay, now let's search for... Blood splatters. I knew it. This is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker, it's mine. It's yours. Please, you have to help me. When they come to take me away, I promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You would do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. Well, I'll, I'll jot it down on the floor plan. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? You're a detective. Hmm. 
Oh, here we go. Here's something. <sighs> that must have been one massive pool of blood. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> you don't think it's him? <laughs> Probably not. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? He looks innocent? Yeah, I think so, too. He's the funny guy. He can't be the villain. Mmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe... Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plan. Hey, if you don't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Uh, I think that's the only splatter in here. Unless there's something else around here. Oh, whoa, what's this? Something new. Why am I getting a reaction here? So, there's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if you flat out the door. This might be something significant. Hey, that's pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Why'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get me some, too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where'd you get this, Emma? Oh, I, I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'll, I better jot this down on the floor plans. Hmm. Interesting. Talk to him. Let's talk to him about the ID. That's the victim, Detective Goodman's ID. These days, everything's cards and secret numbers. I can never relax. That's only. Well, that's only because you always you always lose your card. I always forget my secret number too, huh? Scary, huh? My face should be an ID enough. What's the world coming to? Uh, Detective Gumshoe, a rebel against the system. Yeah, you're right, Ron. I don't. I don't think the Detective Gumshoe is a bad guy. He's just so nice. All right, what else? Um, examine... Can I click on this glove? There we go. So someone left the glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Always making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? Court... Uh, glove... Rubber glove added to court record. I thought to be a detective would be amazing, but it's boring. <laughs> I guess it's kind of boring. <sighs> Alright, we missing anything else? Alright, uh, let's go. I think we're done here. Can I go to Edgeworth's house? How do you get there?
Here we go. February 23rd. Hi, prosecutor's office. Room 1202. Well, this place is as classy today as it was yesterday. I'm sure it'll be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. I guess guess we'll have to come back. He wants us to prestigious award, but he just leaves it on on the couch. Yeah, you'd think he'd want to show it off more. Show this thing off more than that giant steel samurai. Then again, Edgeworth has always been like that. Really? Hey, I should write that down. Tell me more of what he was like as a kid. Back in elementary school, he won awards for all kinds of things. Speech contests, essays, playing the flute, golf tournaments. That doesn't exactly sound like typical elementary school stuff. But he always hated receiving awards. He'd make some smart remarks like, I know the path, the path I've walked, and no one else needs to tell me. Well, that's always always been. Kind of gets under your skin, doesn't it? All right. Um. Wait a second. What am I missing here? Okay. Okay. Edgeworth is probably still with the inquiry people. All right, let's go back to the evidence room. I think I missed something. Probably missed something. All right. Okay, let's see if I have any good evidence to show him. Actually, I can show him the knife. Found, found, <clears throat> found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife. Hmm. That would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do. What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course someone really did it. Someone had to have, have um... Someone who must have a grudge against Ms. Resworth. <clears throat> oh, that's the same thing? Okay. All right, here we go. Detective, Gum Detective Goodman's note with that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was more surprised of, was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two, big, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. Why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there's some loose ends left on the case. Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing. That's fine. You bet it, pal. Alright. Okay. That's the photo that Miss Starr took. Anything you can tell us about it? Miss Starr is quite the lady. Why, I remember it was winter. I was 16. She was the only one who ever talked to me about what happened. 16? That's how old I am now. I wonder what happened. 
I wonder if Detective Gumshoe wore a trench coat in high school, too. Alright, same, same thing. Alright, same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Alright, none of this is bringing up anything. No, the police department lacks faith in its lock system. After all, Detective Goodwin was stabbed here after opening his locker. But at the same time, he was found dead over at the prosecutor's office. Alright, the vase. Alright, same text. The glove. Same text. <laughs> left, left. <laughs> All right, I gotta be missing something. Oh, here we go, here's the new one. All right, cool. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder. A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't wanna get involved in this one after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth hit, built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors? About the forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of this SL9 incident, see? So, so that switchblade knife. The victim took that knife out of the evidence locker himself. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Let's see here. What? What do we want to do? Let's see. Oops. I th think I did everything in here. Um, I was wondering if I could talk to you. Sorry, Bambina, but I'm off to roam the lands like a tumbleweed on the wild prairie. Like a gunslinger loading a six-shooter, I say a little prayer. Jerry? What was that all about? Mr. Wright? I think he was just too hungry to talk. You're just saying that because his stomach was growling. You have no idea what he was talking about either. Well, in any case, we need to get cracking on this investigation pronto. Um, I was wondering if we could talk to you. Oh, it's the same thing. Same text. think if I've done everything I should be able to see Edgeworth again so let's check on him I guess nope still missing something still missing something I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. 
All right, we need to go back to Marshall. And his stomach was growling, see? So if I give him the food, then he'll talk to me. That smell ah, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Um, yeah, Mr. Miss Star. What's this? What? What's wrong? A fillet steak. I see. I see. I, I don't see. I wonder what it means. Lunch. Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. All right, Bambina, you win. Ask him. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, finally, it seems like. He's willing to talk. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. I'm on an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actu actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Oh, that poor little loggy. Poor guy just kept getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us everything. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your. St he said when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but since I got demoted from detectives two years ago, well, I might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. So, what were you doing around 5:15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was scalping down the highway at the back of that my steed Zippy. Noted, he was riding down the highway on the horse named Zippy. All right, um, I need to get a drink of water. I'll be back in a second. I need to get back in time. Dives to my computer chair. Alright. I'm back. There's no need for people here, anyhow. Those newfangled machines do a bang up job keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security system? The security camera system? <clears throat> I don't take the machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli they sneak into your lunch, you know. <laughs> I just made your day. <laughs> Marshall. Miss Starr told us something. She said that when you were a detective, you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole on the prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Mrs. Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no, no one tells us what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case? That's right. The evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about the transferals, too. 
I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Wait, only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and the machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cau cauliflower on my steaks. The easiest ones to understand are there here are these here security cameras. Those are the ones the officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Gumshoe are are they on those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard, and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. Thus the card, thus the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves the record of every ID card that passes through. All right. So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina, I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe I just... Oh. <clears throat> Maybe there's some way I, I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong voice. <laughs> Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We only keep evidence from the case, from the solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the presiding detective's supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them. Reinvestigate them if it turns out to be a mistake, see? So what happened to the evidence after two years? <laughs> you notice that? <laughs> so what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes it goes to sleep forever in the underground vault in the county sheriff department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see. Now, transferal is like a funeral for old cases. <clears throat> Two years after a case is solved, it's closed. Forever dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. Now what happened? Now what happened to the SL9 two days ago? Alright, um... We done? I think there's nothing else in here. Let's see here. I guess I could show him the knife, he might notice. Same text. Alright. Maybe... I think Edgeworth should be back yet. Right? Nope. <sighs> oh, brother. Oh! I know what I need to do. Present Goodman's ID. Oops, wrong one. See this? That's just a victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 584219889. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. Look, the fourth number, it's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. 
So, when the incident occurred, Detective Gumshoe was in the evidence room? Wait, but why did Officer Meekin... Wh what did Officer Meekin say? So he entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So, so you asked, you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? Well, it's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card, then why would he have pointed a knife at Mr. at Officer Meekins? All right, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. ID card record added to the court record. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Maybe I could show this list to other people with IDs here. All right. Uh, is. Let's present this to him and see what he has to see. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Oh, I heard the rumors. Oop, well, that was rude. Whoa! What was it? The, 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 the second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumsu? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list was up belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, you don't like this guy? Oh, a uh, Marshall? Or... Yeah. This is Gumshoe. I think you're talking about Marshall, right? What? ID card record added, updated in the court record. Why would Mr. Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Hey, pal, look at the time. There was some... Was there something you needed to go to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to give him my report for the day. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says, nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he could use a report like this. I don't believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. <laughs> yeah, I honestly can't tell if Marshall's a bad guy or not. He seems kind of sketchy. Yeah, it was Marshall. Alright, now... Now I think we can go to Edgeworth's house. Apartment, I guess. Let's see. Underground. Move. Prosecutor's office. Here we go. February 23rd. Hi, up. Prosecutor's office, room 1202. Ah, I guess. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Because he was using a knife all the time like, a t like it's a toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either that or it's just because he's American. <laughs> he just likes carrying knives around. <laughs> you know? But yeah, he was shaving without shaving cream. Isn't he going to get, like, ingrown hairs and stuff like that on his chin? <laughs> Seems kind of dangerous. Just, like, shaving with a big knife like that, you know? <laughs> Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. That's scary, no offense. Wait, what's scary? I'm sorry if I said anything wrong. I didn't mean anything. Oh, no, it's okay. I just didn't know what you meant. 
I thought you were saying I said something wrong. I was <laughs> using the knife to shave. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, using a knife to shave is scary. <laughs> I thought you were saying I said something scary, and I'm like, wait, what did I say? <laughs> but it's no problem. I, I get it now. <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. <laughs> Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in hand. Right. Has the hotel been bringing him tea? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's court office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes. He brought me this latest information, it seems. Really? That was... Was it helpful? Apparently. A new French restaurant is opening here. Near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info was on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. This whole thing has really taken a toll on him. Ouch. So how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this case as... To not treat this as a case of concealing evidence. <laughs> but as a com communications error during the investigation. <clears throat> Concealing evidence? Yeah, apparently they were... Apparently they were... There are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time, again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something hap something happened. They gave control of the investigations over to the police department. The police department? Yes. Any further investigations for this case will be directed to the chief of police Gant. I can do nothing but wait for the, his results. I see. <laughs> why? I ask you why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still. Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Hm. <laughs> Alright, let's give him the evidence. Alrighty, let's give him... Give him the ID card. Right, please, I'm the, prosec I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in a very polite manner. Whose side are you on, anyway? Maybe if I just show him the best evidence I can, I can get some sort of reaction out of him. Um, the knife, I guess. I know you. You probably got a hold of some information already, right? It, it all has to do with that case you're...
right, we're back. All right, um. Okay, we're back. All right, um. I'm actually gonna, um, be done for right now. I'm having some internet issues. It keeps cutting out. Uh, stream just ended for a second right there. and I'm gonna save it and be done for the night. Um, thanks for watching, Rod. You have no idea what happened? You mean in the story? Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna be done for right now. My internet's kind of dying out. Uh, I keep losing my internet signal, so... I think I'm just gonna be done streaming for tonight. Oh, you thought it was your Wi-Fi? No, I think it's mine. I don't know, it's been kind of spotty. Anyway, um, have a good night. <laughs> I'm going to be done now. So, thanks for watching. See ya.